What's up YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Little Cup team. Now, this one was for my stream about two bags, so I thought I'd put this one up. We have a double upload tonight, so I've got one a little bit later on this, about three or four hours. So, uh, you got that one to look forward to as well. Drop them our theme peeps below in the comment section as well. Uh, now, this one was meant to be for Richard Monday yesterday too, but I didn't get a chance to put them both in. series i will be getting that up too i've just been really really busy so it's that's going to be up i'd say I'd be able to get it up this week all right let's get to this one anyway so i was running um like a trick room little cup team which was pretty fun now we have a uh, audition lead here now this one was against c styles on my stream too i think it was the one about two or so weeks ago all right so uh, audition is going to set up a sunny day there uh, to get the chlorophyll i'm going to set up the trick room there so that that was a really nice counter there at the start I'm going to swap out uh, Natu here. Now, that's a bulky Natu, just a magic bouncing one. Basically, it just sets up lights, uh, light screen. Um, trick room, but it doesn't really do too much. It's got Nightshade as its other attack there, uh, too. Okay, so bringing in Munchlax here. Now, since uh, there was Sun on the field, that actually boosted my Fire Punch there, and that was going to be enough to take out the Oddish here. I'm not sure if that was a bulky Oddish or just a... Uh, a sweeping one. I, I'm thinking it was more of a sweeping one. Okay, so Lickitung's going to come in here. I just went straight for the what the fuck boom here because Lickitung is like super duper bulky and uh, hard to deal with. So that does like three quarters of his health. I'm pretty uh, happy with that one there. Okay, so Munchlax is down. That, that's that's not too bad. Uh, then it goes for the sword dance here. So I'm like, oh, I hope it's not a uh, like a hindering speed nature because this could be this could be really bad. Okay, so I'm going to swap into Elgium here. Now Elgium is a really nice Pokemon. Um, I've got this as a, a trick rumor. I've got this as a Psy Shock. I've got Hidden Power Fighting, which I used on the uh, uh, Licker Tongue then. I've also got this. Um, I run this one in um, like doubles too with Telepathy. It runs really nicely. Okay, so um, Poochian is going to come in here and uh, go for the Dark Pulse here. That does heaps. Me almost takes me out there and then I get flinched. So I kind of called that one happening uh, there already. Okay, so obviously I'm going to go down to the next Dark Pulse here. That's my Elgium down there. So rip. Okay, so I need to get the Trick Room up again. Uh, so swapping in Nato here, I'm going to go for the Trick Room this time. Uh, I just need to get it up. Uh, that, that's all. I just don't want to get like flinched by a Dark Pulse again. So I tanked that one really, really badly there. And I'm going to set the uh, Trick Room up here, which is nice. Uh, I did have another... The problem with uh, Trick Room Pokemon, that a lot of them are weak to... Basically, all of them are weak to Dark. So it it, uh, it gives you a really big weakness there. Okay, so my Nato is down there. That's uh, the only... At least I got the Trick Room up. That's the main thing. Now, I've got to send in a sweeper that's going to be able to get rid of this, and I'm going to use Kranidos. Now, I really like the Kranidos and Rampardos line. They're really uh, awesome Pokemon. So, uh, going for the Rock Slide here, that's its uh, main stab there, and it actually doesn't take it out. It just, like, lives. Um, I've got, I think I've got Life Orb on this. Yeah, I put Life Orb on this just for some extra damage. All right, Poochie is going to use the Hyper Voice. That's not going to do too much there. I'm going to resist that one. Um, I've also got Earthquake on this, and I th I'm trying to remember what the other moves I've put on this. I think I could have put... Uh, I think I got Fire Punch on this one for Grass Pokemon. All right, anyway, so that's Poochie down. There's uh, three Pokemon down on each side. All right, we have uh, Drowsy coming out here. There's, I wasn't sure what set this was going to be. Drowsy can be lots of things there. All right, going for the Rock Slide there. It actually tanks it really nicely there, um, which is no good there. Now it's going to set up the Wish here. So it's a uh, Wish. Uh, it's a, more of a support set there. Okay, so I've got the uh, the Trick Room running out of me, and then it's going to go for the Drain Punch here, and oh, I just lived that one on one health, but it's going to get uh, some health recovery back there uh, from the Drain Punch there. I went for Rock Slide here again. I knew this one wouldn't, ta obviously it wouldn't take it out, because uh, you know, it, it just had enough bolt to take that one. And then it's going to get the uh, Wish there, and I'm going to die to the Life Orb. So that, was, uh, that worked really well for the Drowsy there. I was able to get enough health back there, get the Wish off, and take me out with the Life Orb damage and stuff. Okay, so bringing in my uh, Frillish here. Now, this was my third Trick Room setter. So, m mainly uh, my Natu and my... Mainly this one and with, like, dedicated Trick Roomers. That whether the Elgium actually had Trick Room itself, too. Okay, so I'm setting up the Trick Room here. Now, this was a bulky set. Now, I had Ominous Wind on this. It was, it was tr I was trying to make it like a bulky sweeping set with Ominous Wind to try and get some boosts up. All right, so Pichu's going to come in here. Uh, it doesn't do too much of that. Uh, it's got uh, some more recovery there. Oh, sorry. It's the, the Wish from the uh, Drowsy. Okay, so it's going to go for the Teeter Dance here, which is going to confuse me. Uh, I love being confused so much. 
Uh, I was a little bit worried about any sort of electric type move here, but I needed to get Trick Room up, uh, you know, really desperately because that's what my team relied on. Now, I did have one uh, fast Pokemon. Just in case the Trick Rooms got shut down or anything like that, I did have a meta type there. It was a bit of a uh, weird set, but I actually didn't get to use it this battle. All right, so uh, Pichu is going to... Uh, go for the... I think he went for the Shockwave here. I'm going to go for the Ominous Wind and try and get boost. Uh, Shockwave uh, hits me uh, pretty hard there. Now, this is more a very, very special defensive set. Uh, that it, it really... Uh, it doesn't take physical hits too well. I actually get the Cursed Body there, which was very, very lucky there. So, I actually can't use uh, Shockwave again unless it swaps out. Okay, so I'm going to get hit by the Teeter Wave... Uh, teeter Wave, the Teeter Dance there again. I was thinking of Thunder Wave. Um... But uh, you put uh, Teeter Teeter Dance and Thunder Wave together, and you get Teeter Wave. I just made that one up there. All right, so now it's going to go for the Charm here. That's not going to do too much to me because I don't have any physical moves on this thing. Um, However, I, I did actually have it at one point, but I changed the setup a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to get Thunder Wave here. So it's a uh, Power Fusion set with Shock Wave and Charm. So that would be really, really annoying to go up against, especially if I was a physical set. All right, so somehow I get through all that, and I'm able to get Scold off and take the Pikachu uh, Pikachu Pichu out there. Uh, so that was a, that was a really cool set there, a uh, real pain in the ass. I think I got out of that one pretty uh, lucky there. All right, Lavatar comes in here. It's going to go for the Protect here. So I was thinking, okay, it's probably got Guts or something like that. Um, I just went for Scald there. That's my best uh, chance against it. Okay, so it's going to get a uh, Toxic Orb there. And then it goes for the Mimic here. Now, Mimic actually, what Mimic does, you really don't get to see this move too often. Um, say I use a move right, and then uh, the next turn... Uh, the Pokemon can use Mimic and Mimic that move, so they learn that move, um, which is really cool. You can grab like moves, but it's, it's a very gimmick move and quite hard to pull off. All right, then I get the Cursed Body on the Ancient Power, so it looks like it's a special boosting, uh, or it could be a mix of the hacker, I don't really know, but it had, um, it, it does have Skull now. Um, it's got uh, Ancient Power, so, which is uh, pretty funny. Uh, now it's going to go for the Skull here. Um, I'm not Water Absorb, I'm Cursed Body, so it does actually hit me there. Um, I'm going to be able to get through here with the Skull on the Lavatar. That's going to one-shot it there. So uh, <laughs> some very crazy uh, sets here um, on the Lavatar. I'm not sure what the other move was there. It, I, I, I'm trying to think what the other actual move would, would be. Anyway, so Drowse is going to come in here, and uh, he's going to go for the Wish here. I wasn't sure if this was going to be enough to actually take it out because this Drowse is quite bulky. Um, just going for Skull, that's the best thing I could do. And that was enough to take the drowsy out. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, with some nice little cup of <laughs> tears here for sure. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.